This morning I thought I'd show you this lovely Gottschall dollhouse that I collected yesterday. Um, it's from 1931 and it's, it's featured in the catalogue so that's how I can date it so accurately. Unfortunately this one has been really badly overpainted so someone has uh, basically covered up all of the original colours features. There was a, a lovely little feature on the door that's gone. Um, gloss paint they've used uh, as the white and a different sort of paint, which is the grey. That's just a normal sort of matte emulsion by the look of it. Um, so my first job is to try and get back some original colours. I've actually, this window was loose, so I've taken it off so you can see the construction of the roof there. And there is quite a lot of detail on the tiles underneath this hugely thick coat of paint that someone's put on the roof, which is so sad. It's a really pretty house with these little porches. Got to talk, described it as an American style house. You can see why it's lovely. And peeking in here, it has got the original papers from 1931 by the looks of it. So it's quite art deco style. I think it's really pretty. Now, all of these original papers, obviously I will save, I'll completely leave those alone. Um, there's a lovely little door here with a handle that does actually open. You have to twist the handle to, to sort of open the door. It's pretty sweet under stairs, cupboard. Um, a gorgeous floor there, look. Um, the others are quite faded, but if I give them a good clean, they might come up okay. But yeah, really lovely papers. Unfortunately, again, um, whoever has painted this has, uh, on the outside, has dripped all over the inside papers. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to try a tiny bit of a uh, paint stripper I think it's not scraping away I'll I'll try and get rid of the worst of it see what it looks like if necessary I will clean that up I mean it just looks awful so if necessary I will try and hide it maybe put some new paper just around the windows to disguise it if I really can't keep what's there I will strip it off, get it back to either the original colour or repaint. But at least the interior papers are saved on that one. Um, unfortunately, the other side is even worse. But coming around the back, I've started to strip this off already. Um, yeah, beautifully painted cream colour, however, not original. And what I wanted to do was see what colour was underneath. So you can just about see what I've, what I've done is put on one coat of paint stripper, left it an hour and then you apply a second coat and that is what I've just just done now. So this is waiting for another hour um, and then I can strip it back. What I tend to use because it's a bit more delicate is a little sort of almost like a Brillo pad, but um, softer. Um, I've been using this paint stripper, which I've found quite good. Um, I hate using chemicals on old houses, but this this house is so pretty and I would just love to get it back to at least see what the original colours are. So I'm stripping the back first to make sure it's not going to damage in any way. It, you can see the original sort of golden-y colour coming through. So I think this will work. Um, what I do on the front, I don't know, it might be different. Obviously, there's a lot of detail in the side of the house as well. So I may not be able to remove all of that without doing damage and I don't want to risk damaging it. So I'll start with the back and see how I get on. Here's a little peek into the, the loft as well. I love lofts on dollhouses. I like putting old suitcases and skeletons and things in them. I just think that's fun. But yeah, so that is what's on the table this morning. Hopefully I can get it back to some original colours. If you want to join my Facebook group, Tiny Beautiful Things, um, then you can post your own um, uh, photos of what you're up to, but also you can uh, keep up with projects that I'm doing and see the progress. Hopefully see you there.